What's going on guys? Welcome back to DCS World. Welcome back aboard the Hornet for another tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look at unguided rockets. Now the Hornet has a couple of flavors of unguided rocket available. It's got 5 inch Zuni rockets uh, which are useful for light to unarmed targets. Uh, and we also have 2.75 inch Hydra rockets, which are useful for unarmed and very lightly armored targets. The Zuni rockets, uh, which we have on our airplane right now, you can actually see the launchers there. Uh, you can have Lao 10 launchers that contain four rockets each and you can double rack them. The 2.75 inch rockets are available in Lao 61 and Lao 68 pods that contain 19 and 7 rockets uh, each respectively. But we're going to use the Zuni rockets for this demonstration because they have uh, a little bit bigger warheads and they are uh, a little bit more effective, I've found. So in general here, what we need to do, as always, we got to get our master arm on, get ourselves into air-to-ground mode, and then we'll take a look at our stores page here. We have 10S that denotes the Lao 10 in single mode. One thing I need to point out is that the Hornet has a rocket deployment option that's only editable in the mission editor for the spawning slot uh, for a particular Hornet. Uh, you can set them to either single or ripple mode and that's configured per weapon station. So the outboard and inboard wing stations are set up in the mission editor for either single or ripple mode. And for rockets specifically, what that means is in single mode, a press of the weapon release button will fire a single rocket. In ripple mode, a press of the weapon release button will fire all of the rockets in the pod at once. And again, that is only configurable in the mission editor. You'll know you're in single mode if you look at your stores page here and you see 10S. If you were in ripple mode, you would see 10R. Okay? Just one or two things there to bear in mind. Now, uh, now that we have the rocket selected, let's take a look at some of the options we have. CCIP mode, currently selected, which we will be using today. We also have manual mode, which enables us to manually calculate dive angles and um, pipper depression and things like that. We also have a overall release mode of single, SGL, or salvo for SAL here. And the difference between these two, in single mode, the rockets will fire one at a time. And in this particular case with 10S, they'll fire exactly one rocket at a time. If these were in ripple mode, it would fire one pod at a time. However, if we select salvo mode, what salvo then does is it selects all matching stations. So in this case, I have Zuni rockets on all of my weapon stations. So in salvo mode, it's going to fire one rocket from each pod at the same time. So in the case of my setup, I have double rack pods on four separate stations. So that's eight rocket pods total. It would fire eight rockets per one press of the weapon release button. And those are honestly the only options we have available for the release modes for rockets. We don't, uh, we don't have available to us things like uh, ripple and ripple quantity uh, as you might have for unguided bombs and whatnot. So uh, we will work with what we have here. But using the rockets is pretty simple. What we're going to do is with the rocket selected we can verify we have the settings we want. We're going to go CCIP as I mentioned for this. Uh, let's um, let's do single. We'll do single for this first attack. And then uh, I might do a salvo run afterward. Uh, we can see which rockets we have selected. And we can see the number of rockets on each station. So each wing station has eight rockets total on it. And that's about it. So let's unpause and look up at the HUD real quick. Just to take a look at what we have. We have the rocket uh, aiming reticle here. Dot with the hash lines. 
CCIP, RKT for Rocket, and we have 32 of them total. So the nice thing about Rockets is you can carry quite a lot of them, and they can be quite effective if you need to put a World of Hurt on a small or relatively lightly spread out area. So let's get my camera unpaused here, and I've got some targets on the road there off to my left, so let's unpause the mission and get... Um, get some boom boom going here so stand by now just as with any CCIP attack we want to do we want to be at a reasonably high height for rockets I like to be you know eight to ten thousand feet maybe even a little higher uh, so that we can get a nice relatively steep dive angle you don't need to be super steep with rockets since they are powered and you can get a little bit of range out of them those targets are coming across my canopy bow now there when they get right about there, we're going to roll on in. I'll cut my throttles real quick. We're going to go for that cluster of targets next to the road. And we've got our CCRP symbology here. We have the range queue unwinding. We're in range now, so weapon release. That's four rockets away, and kaboomy. And I think we got most of them. And as you could see, in single mode, we had to press the weapon release button multiple times to fire more than one rocket. So in that case, I fired four of them with four clicks of the weapon release button. All right, let's do a salvo attack so we can see what that looks like. I'm going to switch the mode on my SMS here to Salvo. That's selecting all of the stations. And now this should fire multiple rockets per trigger press. So let me just get turned around here and we'll, we'll do another attack on these targets. All right, let's roll on into these guys here now. We're going to go for the vehicles on the road this time, since I took out all of those targets next to the road. Zoom in on the HUD. Watch for the in-range queue. I'm going to get my speed brake out here since we're in a steep dive. We're in range now, and weapon release. Altitude. Altitude. And as you can see, in salvo mode, it fires rockets from all stations with each press of the button. So that's it, guys. Using rockets is actually really simple. Select them, set them up how you want. Be aware of the mission editor settings, like I mentioned, for ripple mode versus single mode. Dive on the target, line up the pipper, put the thing on the thing, as I like to say, and press the weapon release button and enjoy the explosions. Rockets are really effective if you use them right, so get out there, practice with them, and have some fun, and I will see you for the next video. Take care.